Hi, I'm Christine Candelaria, and I can't believe we are in the final week of iVillage's Mealtime Makeover Community Challenge. I've enjoyed the most helpful tips from our coach, Antonio Lafaso, along with guest coaches Sarah Moulton, Claudine Pican, Mike Isabella, and the Naptime Chef. Today's assignment is very near and dear to my heart. It's about how kids can help get dinner on the table. There are definitely days when I'd rather be left alone to cook and not have to supervise anybody, but the reality is I have four kids. So I've become very passionate about involving them in the kitchen and mealtime preparation. It's quality bonding time, it's a learning experience, and it's a real boost to their self-esteem and confidence. From start to finish, there's a huge number of tasks kids can help with, and I'm sure the older they get, the more they can handle on their own. When we're deciding on menu ideas, I'll have them flip through my cookbooks, or sometimes their books and magazines that have recipes, get new ideas, point to pictures they're interested in, practice reading, and we definitely talk about including our favorites. Donuts. My oldest ones can practice writing by making a shopping list that I dictate to them, but I'm not always crazy about taking four to the grocery store. That's seriously another challenge in itself. Sometimes it's fun to have them draw pictures of the meals they enjoy and the food that we frequently eat. You can take those pictures and post them on the wall so that they know what meal's coming up next. Check it out. Looks just like the picture, right? Washing produce is another great task, especially for fussy ones, because the water is a soothing distraction. With the right knife for the right age, kids can chop all sorts of veggies. They can grate cheese. They can help arrange a platter of veggies as an appetizer and help stave off those hunger pangs. Depending on the meal, they can measure Perfect. and sort, they can get out the ingredients or the necessary appliances. Having your kids set the table is a perfect task that buys you more cooking time. There's plenty to do for one child that can be broken down for more kids. Someone's in charge of the plates, another cups, another does the forks, and so on. This can mean folding cloth napkins in fancy ways, picking fresh flowers and arranging them as a centerpiece, putting out some candles, or whatever they come up with. If you make some dishes available at kid level, they'll need less of your help to get the job done. I've always kept a low drawer of safe kitchen odds and ends for my little ones to explore while I'm cooking. Giving them a real pot and spoon can be loud, but it makes them feel included and buys you more time. So you've made it through the meal and everyone's well fed, but don't let your kids' involvement stop there. Even the very youngest kids can help clear their dishes, scrape food scraps in the compost, load the dishwasher, wipe the table, sweep the floor. I always tell my kids, you are a part of the family, so you have to do your part. Aloha.